This is my January empties for 2017. As usual, I'm going to start off with all of the finished makeup related products. Then I'm going to bounce over to nail polish, perfume, and then I will... I have everything separated out so I can just go in categories, but I think I might bounce around a little bit just to make it a little bit more interesting. This has become a pretty common staple product in my empties, but this is one of the little mini MAC strobe cream samples. I cut these open so I can get all of the product out of them, but you get these with any, um, you can choose these with any MAC online order. So that's essentially what they look like to begin with. And then I, you know, I just chop them in half. I really like this product for providing a little bit of a luminous glow underneath the eye area, but I use it all over my face before I put down my foundation. I'm essentially using this as a primer. I don't think I would necessarily purchase the full size just because I'm constantly getting the little mini, mini samples here in every online order that I make. But if I didn't get these little free samples, I would consider purchasing it because it has become a regular item in my makeup routine. This next product has been around for a very long time and I actually took out two of these other little samples here. So this was actually like a four pack little blister, blister pack sampler and these two shades over here were way too dark for me. This is the Amazing Cosmetics Amazing Concealer Face Map and it just gives you four different shades. I used this shade Fair Golden. It was the lightest. I tried to use this one here. This is medium beige. This one was way too dark for me. So the only one that I could use was this guy here and this actually had a ton of well, it didn't have a ton of product, but the fact that you had to use such a small amount, it was a very opaque concealer. It was pretty full coverage, I thought, personally. Um, I have heard about Amazing Cosmetics for a very long time, specifically their concealer, so maybe in the future I would try and get another sample of this. I did have this around for a very long time, so I'm not sure if they've you know, added more shades to the range, but... The one, uh, I would definitely need something lighter than the one that I used up, but just so you guys know, let me pull this one out so you can see, I did use it up. I just tossed it back in its little, little, uh, sample thing there. So yes, this one was used up entirely. I even tried to get my little makeup brush to scrape out the extra product that was in there. So there was that one. This is the Clinique Almost Lipstick in Black Honey. This is just the little deluxe size sample of it. And when I roll mine up, it's rolled up all the way. It looks really scary and dark in there, but let me give you a little swatch. That is it on the back of my hand there. I really like this one for the fall time and like the winter months, but it's a really sheer kind of like tinted balm sort of tone, but it does kind of play on the pigment that's in your lips. So if you have a ton of pigment on your lips, which I don't, it probably won't show up very well. But for me, my lips are really fair. Um, they hardly have any pigment to them at all, <laughs> along with the rest of my skin. So um, this one actually showed up pretty, not extremely deep, but it definitely did show a lot of color on my lips. And I really do like this product as one of their, you know, cult favorite, long time, number one selling products. So if you haven't tried it out, definitely, definitely check it out the next time you walk by a Clinique counter or something. But it's a really nice product. It's very hydrating on the lips. It's not like a drying formula or anything. So this one was a really nice one. I'm glad to get that one moved out of the way since I did just receive a new one. I do have a foil packet here. This is the Bobbi Brown BB Cream. This is this one had an SPF of 35. I did write a little bit on the back here. I did have the shade Medium and obviously that was way too dark. And on top of it being way too dark, it did oxidize. I tried to mix it in with a little bit of my face moisturizer just to lighten it up a smidgen. And that seemed to help a little bit, but since it oxidized, it just, it just was not working for me. It had very light coverage and I did note on here that it almost had like an almond scent to it. Like the fragrance of this product was like almond oil. 
kind of odd very very odd it did have a really nice finish and it was very smooth but just because I'm afraid that the shade match is just not there for me for this item um, I'm gonna skip over it I have plenty of BB cream that I have in my stash at the moment so I don't need to go out and purchase anything new but this was this was all right it wasn't too bad it was a it was a really nice smooth finish. I am moving on to polishes now. So I do have one little baby Sesh Viet fast dry top coat. This was a little guy that was sent to me from Influencer. I really love this polish. This has been the number one, uh, not polish, this has been my number one top coat for a couple of years now. I used to use the outdoor out the door one but this one just dries so much faster and I feel like it leaves the nails a little bit shinier for a few more days. Really love this one. It's just a little guy though so just so you can see the comparison like here's my MAC nail lacquer that I used up and you can see the comparison between the two. I also had as you can see here I finally finished off my MAC nail lacquer in Snob and this was in my project polish for 2016. I didn't finish it by the end of the year, but I was right down at that bottom line right there. It looks like there's some polish in here, but that's just because it's been upside down. I've gotten every last application that I can get out of here. I bet if I dumped a ton of thinner in here, I might be able to paint two of my nails, but that's not a full manicure. So I'm counting this guy as finished. I can add this one into my Back to Mac bag. I also had one little perfume, well, a little sampler. This is the Tory Burch Love Relentlessly. I actually really like this. I think this one came out of the Sephora Play bag for January as well. So I liked this one. It was a little bit sweeter, but I don't know. It's really hard to describe. It's, it's a strong fragrance for sure. After using this entire sample, I don't think I would purchase the full size, but I would definitely use up another one of the little samples again. I only had a couple uses of this next product left, so I decided I'll just bite the bullet, use it up, even though it is in the winter months. This is the Jurgens BB Body Perfecting Skin Cream. This is the one for medium to deep skin tones, and even though obviously uh, I definitely don't have that, but it's such a subtle product and it's a gradual product that even with me with a crazy fair skin tone I can use the uh, medium to deep one and it builds up to a really nice natural looking tan so if I was to suggest purchasing either this one or the light to medium skin tone one I would say go with this one you'll get your results um, I don't know, I'd say two or three days sooner, but I really like this product. The only drawback for me is it does have that slight kind of fake tanner fragrance to it, but that's okay. In the summertime, I live by this stuff. I have a hair product here. This is one of my all-time favorite hair products. I've been using this for years. I've had this for, I've had this Red Ken product for probably three and a half years now finally finished it up. This is the Redken Smooth Down Heat Glide. This is a heat protector and this one has the macadamia oil in it. I, I miss this stuff already. I love this stuff. I would use like eight pumps in my hand at a time. I could use just this and use a hair straightener and I wouldn't have to put in any other products and this would keep my hair straight for probably two days with zero other products. So I really like this item, smells great. I, I'm i definitely missing it and I definitely want to repurchase this immediately. I have this little Clinique Acne Solutions Clinical Clearing Gel. This had salicylic acid. It's just a little acne medication, little deluxe size that I got with some sort of Sephora online order. I liked this, but the problem with this is that you would, say you would clean your skin and then you'd put a little dab of this on a zit at nighttime. When you wake up in the morning, everything looks fine. If you put on some lotion on your face and you just run out the door. I did that once when I was taking my daughter to school. I didn't even look in the mirror at my face. I just tossed some moisturizer on. Halfway to the school to drop her off, I looked, I kind of glanced in the mirror and I could see the circle around the little dot where I had applied this product and I couldn't get it off my face. So I physically had to peel the little 
dots of this product that I had put on my face from the night before and I noticed that every single time that I used this after this had dried down if I put it on at nighttime I would have to peel off the little dots off my face in the morning so I really did like this I felt like it did work it did take a couple days it wasn't like an overnight treatment your zits gone in less than 12 hours sort of product but I felt like it really did help speed up the process and I've had this in my cart at Sephora for over a year now. I just haven't bit the bullet and even after trying it out I'm not quite sure. If there was another sample I would get another sample again. I don't think I'm ready to spend the money on the full size yet though. Here's a fun one. This is the body shop. This was like the chocolate body scrub. Um, it looks like all my writing and everything is rubbed off, so I don't have any other information on here other than it was just the chocolate body scrub. It was like a sugar scrub. You can see in there maybe it was brown. Um, I didn't like the color of it. I had trouble rinsing some of this down, you know, out of the shower, down the drain. I wasn't really f a fan of this chocolate fragrance, but... I could see if you're a big chocolate lover that I, I could see how some people might like that fragrance. It just wasn't something that I would go out of my way to repurchase. If I saw this in the store on sale for like five bucks, probably would just skip over it. So anyway, there was that one. I do have another hair product here. This one came out of my Sephora Play Box for January as well. This is the Way Hair Care Treatment Mask. This was crazy thin. I thought I had written some notes on the back, but I totally forgot to. So I, I really didn't like the fragrance of this product. It was very watered down. It was very watery, liquidy sort of hair mask. And I had trouble with that. I did have three or four. I can't exactly remember how many treatments but it was either three or four treatments in this little guy I did see a couple people cut open their samples and they were like down to here or something I don't know how I had that many treatments in mine since it was so liquidy I feel like I was just using a ton on my hair but I do only put a deep conditioner or a hair mask from my ear like right below my ear or where my jaw is and down since my hair is so long like my hair is long so yeah this was definitely one of the items that i was most excited for out of the january box but i was i wasn't disappointed but i was just hoping for more i guess i could say um here's a random one this is the bath and body works gentle foaming hand soap hand soap in malibu sunset i got this from my mother she had picked it up a long time ago and she's been working on it for so long when i got this it was probably i would say at least halfway used up or maybe it was just above the halfway mark and it was just so sweet for her that she couldn't use it so she sent it to me i swapped her i gave her some of my kitchen lemon hand soaps and she gave me two of hers so this one had sweet lemon peony petals and blooming jasmine so I could she she coughs a lot she has a lot of asthma issues and allergy issues so I could definitely see it was almost too sweet for me but I'm, I used it up glad it's out of the way this is one of my favorite products from Bath and Body Works this is the wild Madagascar vanilla shave vitamin E body lotion and this is just the regular line of their lotion not like the body creams or anything this stuff smells so good I'm so disappointed that they discontinued this fragrance they always discontinue my favorite fragrances I've decided I am NOT going to verbalize if a fragrance is one of my all-time favorites anymore because every single time that I do every time they've discontinued it they've discontinued the coconut lime verbena be enchanted I think cashmere glow was discontinued for a while but I think they brought it back for the fall time every year now and then they discontinued Wild Madagascar Vanilla. I think they're discontinuing Pink Chiffon. Oh my goodness. If I could throw away all my other lotions and never purchase any other fragrance ever again, this would be the one fragrance that I could wear on a continual basis and never get sick of. This, the notes in here is exclusive Madagascar Vanilla Accord, African Pear, 
wild jasmine, and white sandalwood. This stuff is absolutely phenomenal. The next V, the next, uh, what do you call it? Semi-annual sale. If they have this product out, give it a smell, give it a whiff. If you've never smelled it before, I guarantee if you like a sweeter fragrance, and you like sandalwood, I really feel like you would enjoy this one too. So this one, this is the Clorine Dry Shampoo. Love this stuff. It is pricey, but this stuff works amazingly well. Like if you are in a pinch, if you really need to wash your hair and you cannot, I reach for this one. This one is my tried and true, never fails. It's, it does take a long time for me to blend it into the roots, but I can blend it in with my black hair. I think this is about 20 bucks. I usually get mine either from Birchbox with my points, but also Derm Store constantly has sales going on, and that's generally where I've been picking it up recently. So anyway, there is that one. I have, oh, here's a Clinique product. This is the liquid facial soap. This is just the mild version. I use this just to wash my face when I'm in the shower. Uh, I kind of go back and forth between the liquid. I get these little mini ones constantly. So I'll just use either this liquid one or I do have the bar soap for the face, the mild one that I use. So I just kind of swap back and forth, whatever I'm feeling in the mood for that day. I really like this stuff. It's very gentle on the skin. I do have to put a moisturizer on when I get out of the shower, but I have to do that with anything that I wash my face with. Another hair product. This is the Davines All-in-One Milk. Oi All-in-One Milk. It says with Ruku Oil, Multi Benefit Beauty Treatment, all hair types. This was actually in one of my favorites videos. I think it was in my December favorites, actually, because I was traveling and I had taken this with me. This was just stuck at the bottom of my hair products drawer. I think I got this from Birchbox and I just never used it, but I pulled it out, tried it. I actually really liked it. It's like a leave-in treatment. Feels like it really conditions the hair. I feel like my ends don't feel as split. I definitely need a trim. So products like this really come in handy. It's like a detangler. I think it's even a heat protectant too. So this is, this is a pretty nice product. I don't think I would go out of my way to repurchase it since I do have four or five other full-size ones that I'm trying to work through at the moment. But you know, after I went through everything, I, I would I would consider going back to this one. It was a really nice one. I, The scent on this one, that was the one drawback. I didn't like the scent on this, but everything else about it, I loved it. Here's another lotion product. This is the Vaseline Spray and Go Moisturizer. This is Cocoa Radiant. It's non-greasy and it does have pure cocoa butter in it. I, I don't know how I feel about these. I have mixed feelings. I'm conflicted about them because I do like how easy they are. It's very fast to absorb up into the skin, but I feel like 30 minutes later, I feel like I haven't applied anything to my skin and I do have dry skin. Every time I shower, I apply lotion from head to toe. <laughs> so I'm quite tall too, so I have really long legs. I just feel like I go through these things fast. I can go through one of these within a month. I just wish that they were a little bit of a thicker formula or that they hydrated just a smidgen better. I really feel like these are more suited for the summertime, the warmer months, definitely not for the winter months. I don't know what I was thinking pulling this one out, using it up during the winter time. So uh, just if you have these, just hang on to them until the summertime. A pack of the razors that I buy. I used to buy the super expensive Venus ones, but I just got so sick of, pay of paying so much money for the little stinking razor cartridges. So I just buy these now. You could really get a really nice deal with these. So I don't know, I just like them. I feel like they do a fantastic job. They're comparable to the Venus ones and I don't I don't mind. So this is what I buy now. <laughs> I, I definitely save money purchasing these instead of the Venus cartridge refills. So if you're looking for something new to try out, try these. I did switch over to a semi-permanent hair dye recently because I have been kind of mulling it around in my brain if I wanted to lift the dye out of my hair. I used to dye my hair constantly. I'm talking multiple times um, in a month, sometimes multiple times in one week, but the older I've gotten, the less that I dye my hair, different shades. So I've just been sticking with black, but I've been wanting to lift it out 
I think this coming summer. So I've been using a semi-permanent dye instead of a permanent dye. Not quite sure if it's really gonna make that big of a difference because it's gonna be one heck of a process to get all this black out of my hair, but um, I have been using the Clairol Natural Instincts Ammonia Free. This one is in shade two, which is black, and it's just a 10 minute dye. So I just use this to touch up the roots. Previously, I was using the Revlon Color Silk because it was under $3 at Walmart and it worked just fine. I really liked it, but I just felt like that was a lot of permanent hair dye getting built up in my hair. So I switched over to a semi-permanent and honestly, it says it lasts for 28 shampoos, but this will last until I have to dye the regrowth after a month of my hair growing out. So I don't see this fade at all in the black shade. I had this little three pack of these little samples. I love the Clinique skincare. I've been using it for years now. I think I've been using it for nine years. 10 years. I've been using it for 10 years. So this one, this is my favorite exfoliator. This is just, they had like a pre-moistened cloth in here and you just pulled it out. It was like a one-time use sort of thing, but I use the number two version. It's in a light purple container. It's my favorite toner. I have dry skin and it works wonders for me. And then it also had the dramatically different moisturizing lotion from Clinique. Love this stuff. Been using this one as well for 10 years now. I have, ooh, here's a wax item. This is the Better Homes and Gardens Warm Cashmere Sweater. This was a limited edition scent from like a year and a half ago, two years ago. I don't even know when it came out, but I had purchased a ton of backups. This was my very last backup that I had. This was from Walmart. I think it was about two bucks. If they ever bring this back, I'm always checking the little wax melt section to see if they've brought it back. I checked the packages to see if they renamed it, but I can't find this anywhere. I'm so bummed. This stuff smells so good. And I, I'm telling you, if they had a fragrance, like a perfume, I would wear this all day, every day, every day for the rest of my life. This stuff smells so good. These were weird. These are the me makeup remover cleansing cloths from Makeover Essentials. Right here, you had to wash your face afterwards so I couldn't use these. Generally when I'm using a makeup wipe, it's when I'm being lazy and I don't wanna wash my face. So I couldn't use these on lazy days. I had to use these, take off the makeup, then go wash my face. And I just felt like that was extra steps because if I'm gonna wash my face, I'm just gonna go wash my face but I don't know. I did use a couple of these to take off hand swatches after videos or if I had staining left behind from like lip products or something, I would use these for that. This is an item that I've been using for a very long time. This is the Lovi Butter. I actually received this jar for free to review on my channel and now I think I had received that uh, probably six to nine months before they were featured in some of the birch box boxes and before they were on the birch box website but now they're actually available on the birch box website this is just the original version i think they have a vanilla one out now i just barely finished this up this was part of the items that i wanted to finish up for 2016. i really like this product for my tattoo this is more of a hmm, i don't want to say oily but it kind of left a oily feeling residue behind it. Did absorb up into the skin. I really enjoyed this a lot during the summer months on my tattoos, uh, especially on my arm area over here. I have a lot of tattoos and this is just my favorite thing to put on them. I am considering repurchasing like the big jar because I know it'll last me a very long time and I'm only going to be using it mostly in the summertime. And then the last item is the Mainstays Lake Walk candle from Walmart. I think this was $3 or $5. Oh man, I can't remember. I think this was on clearance for $3 actually. And it's a pretty decent sized candle. This burned down really far. It got all the way down to here. I like this fragrance. It's very unisex, kind of 
beachy, fresh, clean sort of fragrance. I really like this. Some of the Walmart candles don't have as big of a scent throw as other ones, but I thought this one was just fine, and I just had a smaller room anyways, so it didn't really matter whether it had a really intense scent throw or not, so I like this. If you guys see it, I would recommend it for an average or smaller sized room. Anyway, that is everything. Those are all of the products that I had finished off for January. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!